Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My dear people, it is a great joy to be together this afternoon for the sacrifice of the Mass in the house of our Heavenly Mother, reminding us all that we are all in this pilgrimage of light of faith that eventually will lead us to the glory of heaven. But until then, of course, there are plenty and plenty of challenges. Thank God that we have a merciful Father, loving Father, and we must never lose sight how much precious we are in the sight of God. We offer the sacrifice of the Mass for the soul of Father Eddie O'Toole, who unexpectedly died at the age of 47 after him returning from Fatima. Oh, well, that's our life, isn't it? From heaven, he went back to the real heaven in heaven. So that's the soul of Father Eddie O'Toole. Have a moment of silence to say sorry. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord, our God, you send your only Son to bring peace to our world. Through the intercession of the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, hear our earnest prayer. Grant that our times may be tranquil, so that we may live in peace as one family, united in love for one another. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let's sit down to hear the words of the scripture. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing, as they rejoice before you as at harvest time, as men make merry when dividing the spoils. For the yoke that burdened them the pole on their shoulder, the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. 
For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is fast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. The Lord has shown his power in me. Holy is his name. The Lord has shown his power in me. Holy is his name. My soul now glorify the Lord who is my Savior. Rejoice for who am I that God had shown me favor? The Lord has shown me sorrow in me. Holy is his name. The world shall call me blessed. Ponder on my story. In me is manifest God's greatness and His glory. The Lord. friends and keep his laws as holy his mercy never ends and he exalts the lowly the Lord Savior, one holy trinity, forever and forever. The Lord has shown his power in me, holy is his name. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favored, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this meaning could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. 
He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor, David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman, Elizabeth, has in her old age herself conceived a son, and she whom people called barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. The lovely words of Jesus. When he rose again, the risen Christ appeared to Mary of Magdalene. What did he say? He said this, Mary, go to Galilee. Tell my disciples that I am going to my father and your father to my God and to your God. Would you believe it? Jesus included us as the family of the Almighty, the one who created all things that we see and we don't see. We are here because we are part of God's family. Going back home, after, of course, coming down from heaven, went out to preach, gave his life for us, rose again, preparing back. And the last words then were the consoling words. I am going back to my father's house, your father's house. Our Father's house in heaven. There are so many, many places for all people of goodwill. And my dear people, isn't it this faith, this light in the Son of the living God that brought us here in this lovely shrine? home of our heavenly mother. The same message as Jesus, the risen Christ, gave to us is the same message of Fatima. When Jacinta, little children, and Francis and Lucia, where do you come from? They ask our heavenly mother. I came from heaven. Do we go to heaven? Yes. In fact, two of you, are coming very soon. And so it did. Francis and Jacinta died soon after. These are the consoling words. We are here because we are people of faith. People that possess light that gives us purpose to our existence. And this we must remember as we journey on through our life. At times, life is easy. At other times, very demanding, painful. If it knows us, it's somebody else in the family. There's plenty of challenges. But do you know what? Jesus from the cross. When he was dying with acute pain, who was under the cross? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I like to ask questions when I am preaching in my parish. Tell me, who was under the cross? When she was in a great pain, 
seeing her son, chosen son of God, what did Jesus do? This is John. This is your mother. You may ask, why did Jesus gave his mother when she was under the cross? There is a purpose. There is a reason. So that when we go through the pain of life, we must remember that she is there. Pope Francis, two weeks ago, when he was here, a moment ago exactly, he went on to say to us, we have a mother with power. Clench to her. Have recourse. Have hope. Have confidence with your prayers. Do not desert us. She will not desert us. But when pain and tribulations of life, death of a loved one, sickness, losing a job, there's so many challenges in life that challenges our being. We must remember that we have this mother uh, that she understands our aches and pains of life. And when we feel that we cannot journey on, make sure that she and Jesus carries us lovingly with hope and with love. You see, we heard the Annunciation, so important event in the life of Mary Chosen from the beginning to mother of Jesus. What did she say? She couldn't understand. How can she understand? She was a virgin. But she said, I will. And that I will is so painful. Look at Mary and Joseph. From the beginning when baby was born, little baby, they had to carry little baby through the Sinai Desert. Do you know what the sign of the hate of the Sinai Desert? A desert? With little baby? Because Herod wanted to kill him? There then, then, that evening, not I need to pack, nothing. This evening, the angel said, you must leave. So they left. To a country that was far in the heat. And deserts were renowned for robbery and killing God knows what. Joseph had to, had to go, had to go. They stayed there two whole years with this little baby Jesus. And when Harold died, the angel interrupted again, go back. And then they had the aches and pains of losing their son for three whole days, not knowing where he was. Losing a son, little son, for three whole days, the pain and agony of mother. And then when Jesus began to out to preach, the good news of eternal salvation, of how much God loves us. Many of the scribes and the Pharisees, they were a certain section of the religious establishment that they were totally against Jesus because Jesus used to point their finger and he says to them, you are not right, you are living a hypocritic life. And they were furious. They began to invent and get all the calmness that they could find. And they eventually, of course, they, they succeeded in bringing him on a cross. He reached out to people, to the most in need, giving light to the blind man, jumping with joy. He went to the temple because he began to see the authorities of the temple said, ask him, who done it for you? Who gave the sight? He said, Jesus of Nazareth. And when he mentioned Jesus of Nazareth, they kicked him out of the temple. They kicked him out of the temple. So many... Where was Mary? Where do you think was Mary? She was in silence. Hearing all these things about her son. Suffering. Suffering in silence. And then when they got hold of Jesus, of course, on the cross, where was she, as we said? Under the cross. What an example of faithfulness, of love, of hope, of Mary. We couldn't be in a better place here in Fatima to have a lesson. We need somebody to guide us. We have our Virgin Mary. And because 
She wants us all in heaven and we will be in heaven. We must never lose heart. Because you know, you know what? You know what with the apostles? They all ran away when they saw him taking the cross. All disappeared except John the Evangelist. But the reason Jesus came among them, they were enclosed, afraid, locked doors within their being, within their walls. Jesus didn't say to them, go out, I don't need you. You are no good for my mission. You need to be brave. No. What did he do? He commissioned them to bring love, divine love and forgiveness to all people. Go and baptize. Go and preach the good news. Because he sees, he saw the positive in the apostles, not their defects. Not their weakness. He didn't dwell on their weaknesses. He dwell on their good things. And so with us, with me and with you, which one of you? He doesn't see the weakness. He rely more on what we can do, on our talents. But do we open our life to do something good to each other? Because at the end of the day, our Christian vocation is to reach out. To reach out with respect. And of course, as Jesus said, it's so easy for me to go very nicely. Hello, John. Hello, Mary. Oh, they are so nice because they are my friends. But look, think about those people that we do find it difficult to deal with. Or in that matter, that people find us difficult to deal with. And we pray for them. We try to reach them. They can be members of our families, friends, people at work. This is our challenge. Pope Francis said last week, live the gospel with joy. Don't be sad because that's not a Christian way. Have the light. And when we have the light, we have the strength to give the light to the children, to the grandchildren. And what a beauty. It becomes our Christian way of life. And when, as I said, trials and tribulations come along, we do not run away like headless chicken. No, we just walk, knowing that Jesus is carrying us to this difficult period. This is, this is our Christian life. This is where our strength lies, because we belong to the living God, one true God who loves us deeply and he wants each one of us. I will better, better not go long because I can go for half an hour. But of course, but of course, and the, and the one priest will shoot me. No, it's no good to shoot priests because we need the priest. You must love the priest. Of course, you know, I'm not going to that. Thank God that we are here. We are so grateful. We go out when we go return and be positive people. Be positive people. Be happy people among our tiredness. That's the way. Thank God for his light. coming together for the sacrifice of the Mass, praising the good Lord and praising our Heavenly Mother, let us turn to them to listen to our prayers. that the Holy Church, through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, receive from God abundance of that peace which Jesus Christ brought into the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the efforts of all people of goodwill in promoting peace and fraternal harmony be blessed and crowned with success and that the entire world may experience the great gift of God we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The intentional institutions 
that in, 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 uh, international institutions foster the search for peace among peoples and that weapons of death be transferred into instruments of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That rich nations and their governments, overcoming the temptation of power and superiority, rectify injustices towards poor nations and help the many who are hungry and in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For that peoples who suffer because of war may once again find the gift of peace and concord and that our deceased brothers and sisters share in the eternal joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of this assembly, united in celebration of these sacred mysteries, be found worthy to greet one another in peace and be true messengers and servants of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now we turn to our Heavenly Mother and we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for the gift of faith in your Son, Jesus Christ. Help us to walk safely so that one day we too may enjoy the kingdom of heaven where you live forever and ever. Amen. As I kneel before you, as I bow my head in prayer, take this day, make it yours, and fill me with your love. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus te. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink yes, Lord God we ask you to receive and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite Lord wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father Lord, as we lovingly venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Peace, we offer you this sacrifice of reconciliation. Be pleased with our offering and grant us your gift of unity and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up 
your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, and to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thanksgiving hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's end, you have done great things and extended your abundant uh, mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of your salvation, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of heaven adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices join with theirs as one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Venite adoremos, venite adoremos, venite adoremos, Dominus. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and proclaim your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, your, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be 
creates in it to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ through him with him and in him O God Almighty, Father, unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of our glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, here and on. 
Now we are going to have the jubilee prayer of us praying. So Let us pray. Lord, in this memorial of the Blessed Mary, Queen of Peace, you have nourished us with the body and blood of your only Son, 
sent upon us the spirit of love, that we may build up in our world the peace which he himself left to us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we are going to say the prayer, the Jubilee prayer of consecration. Hail, Mother of the Lord, Virgin Mary, Queen of the And now, we are going to bless the religious objects. Do you have them here? If you have them, just bring them out. If you left them in your rooms, uh, make the intention, because the good Lord is everywhere, and he blesses us everywhere where we are, even the holy, the holy things that you bought. They are going to be blessed also in your rooms. The Lord be with you. May the good loving Jesus and our Heavenly Mother bless these gifts, these holy objects, and help us help others to live a life of truth and life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Hail Queen of Heaven, the star, guide of the wanderer here below. Throne on life's search, we claim thy care. Oh, my.